you doing, manginas? STDX Toddler here, bringing you guys a new series, TIFU, Today I Fudged Up. And I also want to say, this is my first episode, my first video on the Set to Destroy X channel. So, uh, thank you guys all for being here. If you are watching this on my personal channel, the Tangy Toddler channel, make sure to go subscribe to Set to Destroy X, which will be in the description below. And so, let me start and explain what the series will be. Uh, if you are fairly new to what Reddit is, uh, it's awesome. I mean, I feel like most people know what Reddit is. There's a subs uh, subreddit on there called TIFU, which people tell their stories about how they messed up that day, how they fudged up. Um, and so I am going to read some of the submissions. And I'm just going to say some of them will probably have some cuss words. Um, you know, that's what it's called, today, t TIFU. Uh, it's today I fucked up, actually, not fudged. And I'm also, on episode two, I am going to explain my personal uh, fudged up story where I um, got stalked by a girl in high school and it wasn't normal uh, the girl had down syndrome and I'm gonna explain how I messed up in that situation but before we get to that let's go and talk about some of the other applicants here on uh, reddit on the good old reddit sphere what do you guys say all right the first one is called uh, and this one's a prank by the way so uh, it's because April Fools was just around the corner this one is Today, I pranked a cop by blowing an insanely high blood alcohol level in a random breath test. And I'm going to let you know, guys, I'm not picking and choosing these. I'm reading the top uploaded of the particular day I'm doing the video. Uh, so this one says, this happened about two hours ago. The prank was entirely inadvertent. I felt like getting something to snack on from the service station, being that most places are closed on a good Friday. On Good Friday, rather. Uh, so I put my shoes on, put a jacket on, brushed my teeth, used mouthwash, flush, and get in my car. A lot of details I didn't really care. It's kind of like a humble brag. It's like, I take care of my head, dental hygiene. You know, it's like, nobody really cares if you floss, bro. <laughs> uh, within 30 seconds of driving, I encounter a random breath test, and me and the car behind me are ushered in to be tested. I am fumbling with my wallet to get my license, and the cop says it isn't necessary, and all he needs is my breath. Um... I jokingly respond something like, oh, I guess I could give you that, implying I'm doing him a favor. And he sarcastically thanks me in a good humor. So I blow into the breathalyzer for about five seconds, and he checks the reading. He is silent for a bit, and I assume he's waiting for the reading to come up. Then he asks when the last time I had a drink, and I responded with, uh, like two years ago? Ha ha ha. And as I finished it, it clicks that somehow it's a positive reading. So I ask, and he confirms. And it's clear that he is confused because the reading is ridiculously high. I realized that, oh, that makes sense why he brought up the dental hygiene now, so now I kind of feel like an ass. <laughs> uh, I realized that it might be the mouthwash I used a couple minutes ago, given I can still taste it in my mouth. I tell him this, and he seems immediately convinced that I'm telling the truth, and ask if I have a drink in my car to rinse my mouth out, mouth out with. I find a nearly full bottle of Mountain Dew I discarded and gargled with it. I get tested again, and the reading is zero, and he laughs and sends me on my way. The funniest part, the funniest part was it was clear that I hadn't had any alcohol based on my jovial and nonchalant I was about being tested. Then realizing the culprit was something as simple as mouthwash. This happened in Australia. Um, I mean, like, this is a really great submission. I can't believe this got upvoted so much. Like, because, like, it, it, he didn't mess up. I mean, for a second, it's different if he got arrested or something or didn't have anything in his... Like, I thought he was going to go to the car and, like, the only thing he had was, like, an old, like can of like colt 45 or something like an old bottle in his car i thought that was the mess up by him not cleaning out his car or something that wasn't that that wasn't that bad uh, i mean it was pretty chill the cop i guess but uh i thought that was gonna be worse all right today i fucked up by helping create the most adorable little racist oh oh don't we all you know that's, that's cute so far so good right <laughs> let's start with the fact that i am not actually a racist okay that's a good way to start um, that, you know, when people have to start that in a sentence, like, dude, I'm not racist, but you're like, yeah, kind of racist. You're trying not to look bad here. Um, I am a white dude. All right. So there we go. That's a bad sign. Probably, probably racist, <laughs> but I have an amazing, beautiful, uh, black wife and three mixed kids. My fuck up started years back with our two older boys. Their complexion is more like their mother's Ashley. So I always thought it was super funny to pretend that they weren't mine at opportune times. That's horrible. <laughs> uh, Kid knocks over a display case, walk up to my wife and loudly say, Ma'am, you really need to watch your children. Okay, that's awesome. Two year old keeps screaming, Ma'am, can you calm your child down? She loves me for some reason, she never she so she never got mad. However, she did always promise revenge. Revenge turned out to be our youngest daughter, Leah. 
Leah is, is horrible. Leah's the bitch. That doesn't say that. But <laughs> Leah turned out to have more of my coloring or tremendous lack thereof. That makes okay. So today I picked up my Leah from my sister-in-law's house. And then we have drove to the DMV to meet up with Ashley, who was getting her license renewed. Ashley was busy taking her picture, so I sat down with Leah, who had 20 new things to tell me. I had to work. Uh, I had work to do on my iPad, so I just... No, that's Angry Birds. It's not really technically work, my friend. Um, I understand, you know, it feels like work because I tell you what, I have never been more frustrated with a video game in my life until I found Angry Birds. Um, and I don't play it anymore because I don't want to get frustrated anymore. Anyways, so I just agreed to nod everything she said while not actually paying attention. Daddy, look over there. Okay, sweetie. Do you like Squidward? Of course. You like me? Uh-huh. Unfortunately for me, while Leo was at her aunt's house, they apparently had a marathon of, bla of a black comedian, Chris Rock or someone. The main joke being repeated was, you know how black people are, or something. So after a homeless looking black man briefly walked through the waiting area, Lean turns to me and says, you know how black people are, right, daddy? Oh, and I, while typing an email and still not paying attention, responded with an enthusiastic, right. As soon as the word left my mouth, my brain processed what she had said. I slowly looked up from my iPad and looked into her blue eyes. She was always actually... Ah, uh, she, hold on, I lost my place, guys, scroll down. She always actually looked physically more like her mother, but with her light brown hair straightened for the east to play, she looked like an adorable four-year-old Eva Braun. Um, I don't know who that is, hopefully I said that name right. Uh, I slowly looked from her to my surroundings to see about 20 angry eyes. Ash had been walking towards us while this happened. I saw a brief look of laughter in her eyes before she turned her expression into the scariest angry black woman face um, I have ever seen. Then she muttered loudly, what the hell? <laughs> Uh, and an accent I've never heard her do before. I'm not really good at extreme attention, so I just looked around weakly and whispered, She's ours. And then everyone watched me as I got up, leaving behind Leah, got my car, and drove away. <laughs> Wait, what? Ditch, ditch the daughter? <laughs> Dude, maybe they were pissed at the daughter. You had to be the protective father there. but See, that's more of a mess up. Even though it wasn't really his fault, that is better than that first cop story. Um, so that's a little better, uh, but a way to create a little racist four-year-old. All right, this one will run really quick. Today I messed up by mistaking my dream, my dream girl for an escort. Solid. Who's never done that before? A couple of days ago, I'm in Copenhagen. Last day of vacation. I'm no region. Hit the bar like it's going out of style, playing beer pong, having fun. I thought I was going to rhyme there. Get super drunk and be 20 years old, dangerous blonde at the bar. She, init she initiates conversation. She's 11 out of 10. Never seen anything like it. I'm really sweet. She seems pretty sober, but still really interested in me. Huh. That's when you know it's bad. When you're like, you know what? She looks sober, but she's actually interested in me? Yo, I got a chance. You know? That's when you know your life is not completely going the best way as possibly could. But so, um, I instantly fall in love. We talk for a while. I say lots of stupid drunken shit. She gets, she, she uh, says, give me a kiss. Give me a smooch. Takes my hand and leads me to her table. So far, I haven't made any moves or said anything clever, I think. But I still got the prettiest girl in Denmark by my side. At this point, I'm way too drunk. Um, she still, she doesn't leave me. And we hit it off even more. I've already thought to myself, this is too good to be true. My drunk ass isn't even there in this kind of company right now. Uh, in my stupidity, I panic over whether I have run up some kind of tab. Or I'm going to wake up with 10k in debt. I try to casually ask her what it's going to cost. She, of course, doesn't understand. I repeat myself and try to explain. She bursts out. You think I'm a hooker? I casually answer, yeah, and she storms off. Turns out she was just a girl who generally liked me, and I probably ruined her night. And I most likely missed out on the most beautiful, sweet girl I will ever meet. Danish girl, wherever you are, I'm so sorry. I wish I could make it up to you. That was crazy. Uh, that was, That's like, okay, first of all, when, I don't know, maybe, I guess if he's in, okay, Copenhagen, you know, it's, I think it's legal there, right? Escorts? I don't know. Maybe I'm stupid. Um, so maybe that that's a more of a conversation. But, I, I mean, living in Iowa, I don't just, like, find a hot girl and be like, man, why are you hitting on me? I would think, first of all, if I'm getting punked before I think she's an escort. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you guys enjoy this series at all. First episode, I'll keep it going if you guys like it. Um, you guys can also bring up your own I messed up today or even in past day uh, in the comments below. So thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel youtube.com slash tanky toddler as well as set to destroy x which is youtube dot youtube.com slash set to destroy x obviously because most of you guys are probably watching on there sayonara and stay hairy my hairy manginas